Okay, ready? Quiet on the set, we're rolling. Shh. That's what Hitch does. Got our old friend, our buddy, our old fiend, Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock, aka Hitch. Rah. Shh. Shh. Ah. Rah. Rah. What do you got for me this time? I was, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, werewolf milk, yeah, werewolf milk, yeah, and cookies, right? Go, 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 go. Ah, milk, good. Get my protein to build my all natural muscles so I can get built like my boxing and wrestling and, uh, you know, college varsity wrestling. And amateur Golden Chicago Golden Gloves boxer and former Marine David Rock Nelson. Rah! Yeah, Corporal Ura Nelson. Corporal Ura Nelson. Rah! I don't even built, built like him. I don't have all natural muscles like him. So I gotta drink my, my werewolf milk. Werewolf milk. Good. Go, 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 go. Ah, drink. Rah! Oh, cookies. Cookies. I must dunk it for the mummy. Dunk it for the mummy, in honor of the mummy, and in honor of Frankenstein, my favorite monster, Frankenstein's monster. Uh, dunk it. Uh, I can't get in there. Let's uh, dunk it again. Dunk it for the mummy and for Frankenstein. Ah. Uh, 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 Mmm. Cookies good. Ah. Ah. Ah, cookies good. I must drink it for mommy and for Frankenstein. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ah. Mm. 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 Cookies good. Cookies good. Ah. Ah. No, thanks for that. Yeah, put them back in there. I gotta rinse them off first. Wait. Uh, yeah, I had to rinse them off the germs, you know, the floor, yeah. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah, milk going. Ah. I spill all my stuff. Well, what do you got here? Java, werewolf, Java. Go on, drink, go on, rah. Rah, coffee, good, Java, good. Oh, it's got my picture on it. My picture. Yeah. Drawn by my fiend, David Rock Nelson. He drew that. Yeah, it's a cool picture of me as a werewolf. Yeah. Coffee, good job, good. Coffee, good job, good. Good last drop. Good last drop. Oh, I got another cookie. Oh, good. Another cookie. Oh, I'll take it with me. Thanks, Elsie, thanks, yeah. I'll take, I'll put it in my pocket, I'll eat it later when I'm watching Sven Gulli and watching monster movies on TV, yeah. On VTV every Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Time, or 5, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, or uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. But 7 p.m. Central Time, Sven Gulli every Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. on VTV. Yeah, I'm going to watch Ghost of Frankenstein tomorrow night on VTV on Sven Gulli. Yes, my fifth favorite movie of all time. Yeah, Ghost of Frankenstein starring Lon Chaney Jr. as the monster. My favorite Frankenstein is Glenn Strange, who is the monster in House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Evan and Costello meet Frankenstein. Yeah. And my my favorite movie of all time is Bride of Frankenstein with Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff. 
as the monster in Bride of Frankenstein, my favorite movie. My daddy woke me up at 2.30 a.m. on 2.45 a.m. back in 1964. 1965, when I was eight years young, yeah, and I watched that late night, yeah, and that's my favorite movie ever since, rah, rah, I'll eat this cookie tomorrow when I have my cookies and milk, after I have my pizza, I have my pizza first, Saturday night is pizza night, every Saturday when I watch Sven Gulen, yeah, how do you like an Mr. Lolo fan? Yeah, I'll give one for you next time, I'll see you, I'll ask Mr. Lolo for one, he'll give you one. Yeah, Creature Feature Fan Club. Yeah, Mr. Lobo, my fiend, gave me that. He hosts movies out there in L.A. And he was at the Monster Bash Conference, Monster Bash Conference, every year at the in Mars, Pennsylvania. A half hour north of Pittsburgh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be there. Yeah, he hosts monster movies, too. Yeah, and I'm the most notorious guest of honor every year at the manual Monster Bash. Me, David Rocknell, well, no, the werewolf. Yeah, well, yeah, they think I'm David Rock Nelson, but I'm really the werewolf. <laughs> yeah, because I look like him. I look like David Rock Nelson. Right. Yeah, he's a handsome guy, so, you know, I, I, I'm I proud to say I look like him. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's why the ghouls like me, the gals and ghouls like me, because I'm a handsome, I'm a handsome werewolf, you know. I'm handsome. They can't resist my charm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you, I'll see you. Thanks for that cookie, I'll eat it later. Yeah, take it, put it in my pocket, I'll eat it later. Thank you, I'll see you. Rah, 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 yeah, look at that. Look at the mess, man. Look at that. All over the place. I mean, man. Cookies, puddle of coffee, milk everywhere. Even got it on my Cubs, Cub fan Bud Man shirt where the devil ain't there. Look at all over there. Spilled it on the bench. Yeah. On the door, yeah. Okay, the price for doing the werewolf movies, the werewolf's hand. I'm gonna do one more quick scene of me as the werewolf. Running. Okay. Is the thing still going? Yeah. Because I don't want that bowl. The bowl was in the way. I don't want that in the way next time. Okay. It's going. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Action. Okay. Coffin. I want people to see. Oh, they can't see it over there. Oh, that's okay. You get the devil hand in here. There we go. Problem up in the ball. There he is. Yeah. Okay, I'll see. Okay. Okay, here we go. When I meet Elsie. Yeah. Ah, in Werewolf's hand. Oh, hi, Elsie. How you doing? Yeah. What do you got for me? How you doing? What's new? What's new? Yeah. So, you watch any good monster movies? What, what did they show in Sanguli last week? I, I was down at the Monster Vass in Mars, Pennsylvania, so I, I missed it. Yeah, well, oh, cool. Oh, cool, my buddy, the devil. Oh, he's my buddy. He's my fiend. Yeah. Yeah, he's my, he's my buddy. Yeah. He's my little buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, has... Has Devil Ant, has Devil Ant been a good boy? Has, has Devil Ant been a good boy? Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I'll see you, I'll see you. Rah, rah. See you, Devil Ant, buddy. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, I'll see you. Rah, 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 rah. Rah, 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 Ah, oh, okay. Okay, cut that's perfect. That's perfect. Just like Ed Wood, my hero, my mentor. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Cut that's perfect. Cut that's perfect. Just like Ed Wood. Look at, look at that mess I made. Need a puddle of coffee. 
spilling my java, drinking my java, cookies and all over the place. Man. Gross, I gotta clean it up now. And I gotta clean it up. So my sister doesn't find out I made a mess over here. You know, you got on my Cub Fan Budman hat that I got for free. Yeah, it's like a hanger thing, it's cool. Hang clothes on it. Uh, there's Frankenstein over there in the corner. That I got for free. A guy, 7 Eleven, let me have that after Halloween was over. It was a Halloween display. And then I got that free at a convention in Rosemont at the Donnell Stevens Convention Center when they had a Halloween party show. Elvira was there and they had a bunch of these in the lobby. In the lobbies, they were throwing them out, so I grabbed one before they threw it out in the Dipsy Dumpster. I walked onto the bus with that thing. Got it for free after the convention was over. So, so see, I have Elvira in my house all the time. My ghoul feed. Yeah, you guys jealous of me? I got a virus here all the time. You probably wish you had that. Yeah. And there's my boxing, some of my boxing trophies. I got a bunch, I have about 10 of them, but there's some of them. You yeah. know, I did that doing a bench press, all natural bench press contest, bench press 2660, with a body weight of 183, a bench press. I got third place, Johnny, oh, we got fifth place, Johnny Weissmiller's cousin, Fred Weissmiller, who's a liquor salesman out in Palatine, Illinois. He got third place because he bench pressed two, uh, 325 at a body weight of uh, 205. I was body weight 183 but I was still a heavyweight because I barely made the heavyweight limit of 183 so I mean I made it by a hair because I put a lot of coins in my pocket and I put a two and a half pound weight uh, belt around my ankle underneath my sweatpants so they didn't know I had that extra weight on, because I was really like about 180 but I wanted to make weight so I could compete with the heavyweight so I got a fifth place trophy man because the guys in my weight class, there was like 12 guys, and they looked like they were on steroids. And It's supposed to be all-natural bench press contest, and these guys looked like they were cheating. And I'd say, I can't beat them. They were bench pressing like 300 pounds. So I uh, competed in the heavyweights because there's only five of those guys. I figured, And one guy I felt like I'd beat because he was kind of skinny, and I beat him by five pounds. He bench pressed 255. I bench pressed 260, so I won. I got, a fifth, I got the fifth place trophy. That's what I got. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten that. If I competed in a light heavyweight, I wouldn't have won anything. Because they're like, these guys look like, too, like they were on uh, HGH or, you know, human growth hormone or something. They cheated. It's supposed to be all natural bench press. Strong athletes against steroids. But see, they can't look. They just trust that you'll be natural. They don't really test you. But they trust that you'll be honorable and be honest and don't take steroids. And don't, you know, make, but there's always guys to cheat. You know, you don't know. Unless you do the drug test, but that uh, the guy in charge couldn't really afford that, I think. You know, whatever, to afford guys to come in and test everybody. So, you just took their word for it. But, you know, it's too bad people can't be honest. You know, can't tell the truth that, and not take steroids because that's cheating. Oh, anyway, and there's my boxing trophy I won. And I won this medal in boxing. I beat James. Well, I got a tie with Jazzy Jeb and James Flowers. James Flowers later turned pro about a year later and won the Illinois State Light Heavyweight title. And I got a tie with him. I tied him in an exhibition bout like two years before he, uh, three years before he won the Light Heavyweight Professional Illinois title belt. He beat another rock, Tony La Rock La Rosa, who had like 70 fights. And he, Flowers at that time had like over 200 fights. So he had the experience. And uh, he, uh, you know, he, he, had the, he had the experience. He out, he out moved him and out jabbed him and out punched him. La Rosa is tough and strong, but Flowers has the skill and the know-how and the strategy, the ring te technology. The ring te he's a ring technician, Flowers. He, you know, he was an expert boxer. Okay, so, you know, and I tied him. Now he's training kids out at a, at a gym out in Chicago. Okay, I'll see you.